with washes it won't look white for very long because I don't think the the book that it will be reading would have such crisp white pages and I think it would all be yellowed and foxed with age so there we are that's the majority of him done and next what we need to do well finally what we need to do for this stage is the dryad bark and his cane okay so now we're going to have a number of washes on this um, some of the washes in um, in very close contact with each other so I'm going to have to be very careful on what I'm doing um, so the hair is her and beard sorry her and tash is going to be one colour wash and then you'll have the his face in another colour of wash My skin in one colour of wash, his hair in another colour of wash. The oh, I'm going to have to go over his jacket again. I've caught it with the paint. Again, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. All it means is I do that. Yeah. That is everywhere. Yeah. Okay, so that is the first part of Harvey Walters finished. What we really need to do now, as I say, is the washes. So, what washes are we looking at? Well, we are looking at a wash to make his hair look grey so we want I will say no oil we want the leaves of the book to look aged and brown so for that we are looking at when I can find it Agrax Earthshade we want his skin which will be Carol Burr Crimson and I think that is all we can really do for washes so we really have to be careful what we're doing with the washes so first of all we're going to use the null nile to go over his hair we do not want a great deal of this going on So the idea of this is just to give him the look of grey hair and as I said we're just careful we're applying it making sure it just goes on the hair and gets into the crevices and the dips in the model there we are and don't forget his rather splendid moustache as I said we do not want his hair incredibly soaked 
with this paint is just the to give him that grey look. And I think that works rather well, don't you? Okay, next we want the Agrax Earthshade, that's going on his pages. Again, we don't want a vast, hang on, I'm going to just clean the brush off because I don't want it mixed in with the black. Okay, so... There we are. We can't see much of that, um, unfortunately, but it is there. And next, which is the final wash <coughs> on his flesh, we want the Carolberg Crimson. So we'll do his hands first. And I said the, the mould on his hands is not, or the detail on his hands are not brilliant. out all his little creases and crevices. We will be going over his eyebrows as well on this one because we can see a little of them. <coughs> but for now That really is about as much as we can do. Um, I can't actually touch the jacket because um, some of that wash there is still wet. I could go over the um, waistcoat and for that we'll take the Wasdaka Red. And so we're looking towards Um, like a reddish coloured waistcoat anyway so we just want to add a few touches of red here and there remember that previous colour was quite simply a base coat Have our red waistcoat there. The next thing we want to do is add the buttons. <coughs> and I think in Harry Walter's case, he's a man of distinction, smarts, sharp dressed man. Let's have Hashut's copper for his buttons. Oh, 
Let's give it a damn good shake first. That's better. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do, very small amount on the brush, and where we see a button, touch, touch, touch. And touch. There we are. That's all we need to do for that. Next, we can take our Rhinox hide. And a small amount of the Screaming Skull. You know what's coming next. And we mix them together. And that acts as the first of the highlight colours for his jacket. We'll go right across his back behind the seam and downwards. Now try and follow the shape of his jackets when you're doing this. And you're not going to see much of a difference, to be brutally honest with you, until you get the next lot of highlights on. You can spend as much time as you want doing this. The more time you spend, the better. Um. As you can see, I'm just getting a very small amount on the paint, sorry, on the brush, small amount of paint on the brush, and then just dry brushing over. Do that on the trousers as well, or we could if I had some paint left. Now because we've done the jacket in one go, now we're starting on the trousers, it doesn't have to be the same shade. It helps if it was, it would make it look better, but it doesn't have to be. So don't worry if, like me, you ran out of paint. after we did the jacket and I 
at this precise moment in time, all I'm actually doing here is picking out the creases. Because I'm not going to be going over all of this again with a highlight, only certain parts. But I want to make sure that the creases in his trousers are picked out. I hope that shows up there. It's not incredibly different in shade, but you will see the difference. Okay, so we want more brown, proportionally more of the um, screaming skull for this section because we're now going a lot lighter with the um, final highlight which will be on the jacket more than the trousers but where we want it to go is across the across his back across his shoulders rather and down his back not repeat not hiding all of the previous colour As you can see, that's the one thing we don't want to hide. There we are. Now, what we want to try and do is pick out the Creases as best as we can. And we want a little bit of the sorry, a little bit of this paler colour on the tip of his collars. Wheel. Quick dry brush there. It doesn't take long to do Harvey Walters because of his um, because of the waist positioned. <laughs> yeah, he's nearly finished. Nearly, nearly finished. Now we're going to dry our back. bit of that again with the screaming skull and with that it's just a case of wafting over the cane just to give it a look of something going on there We can also do his shoes in this colour. I 
It's slightly different than his <coughs> slightly different than his suit, so it stands out just a little bit more. Okay. And now the the book is going to get a little bit of red. Just add it in there. Okay, that's the main parts done. Now it's his flesh. Just ha just a quick highlight on the flesh areas. Um, What we need for that again is the Kisler flesh. <coughs> oh, I really need a drink. A spot of the screaming skull, just to make it a lot paler. That's all we're doing with that. And here we're going over any areas that looks as though it could be raised. And we're not looking towards making it perfect. Um, that's what I'm looking for. We're not looking for a per absolutely perfect um, highlighting technique. Remember, this is these are small models. I don't think the twenty-eight mil scale. Um, I'm not sure what scale they are, but they're smaller than. In fact, they may be twenty-eight mil. I'm not sure, but um, they're not. No one near as big as like a Warhammer 40k Space Marine, for instance. Now here, what we're going to be doing is just going over his eyebrows, just in the white. As soon as we can see them. Waft over his tash. A quick waft over his her. Let's try a little bit more. We don't want it really, 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 really stark and white. We're just looking for that highlight thing there. And finally, just because we can, we want to get a small amount of white on the brush. And when I say small amount of white on the brush, I always seem to get a magnificently large amount of white on the brush. I 
and There we go with his handkerchief. Ah, something I have forgotten. Something I have forgotten. His jacket has buttons as well, so let's do his jacket buttons in the same way as we did his um, waistcoat buttons, which is just a quick dab and dab with Hashot's copper there we are Mr. Legend the man Harvey Walters Oops. there we go one down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 to go. And you wonder why I'm not going to be doing them all on camera. <laughs> um, in fact, I'm going to leave him there and let him make sure he dries. Then I can uh, <coughs> move on to the next chap, or chap S, when the time comes. Ah, before I go, I've had a thought. Well, not so much a thought, it's just more of a memory. When I was doing the relic um, miniatures, what I used to do, I have taken Mr. Walters off the paint pot. I'm going to put him to one side. For basing, I'm going to do what I did with the... Um, so, uh, minis, I'm going to go over with the uh, dark earth paste and paint it up. Um, but what I used to do with the relic miniatures when I'd, when I say miniatures, the relic busts, when I um, was doing them was, I would pick from the cards which character I was going to be doing next. So let's do that again, shall I? It's totally random. That's the one that's left. And we're going to be doing Vincent Lee. Okay, so Vincent Lee, where do you be? There you be, Vincent Lee. This is your man. So this is our next subject in our Man uh, Mansions of Madness painting guide series. As I said, I won't be going through everyone. But I will do uh, the 16 all together. I'll try and do at least five, just to give you an idea. I might do three men or three women, I don't know yet. But uh, as I say, he's the next. So let's get him loaded. <laughs> On to the pot. Ready for action. So, now, <laughs> as I say, it, it is uh, from Mr. Walters. Mr. Lee, and from me, Stevie B. <laughs> Take care, God bless, and bye for now.